Oh, good morning. Today's the day. I'm probably blinding everybody. Got a little bit of a hike over there. But I can sleep when I get there maybe? No. We gotta keep an eye on that buck. <laughs> it's early. We're gonna go over there. Hopefully get a pretty close by first light and be ready to watch them till they bed. That's the plan anyway. We're going a, a little light today in anticipation of packing meat. I hope. That'd be pretty sweet. But let's go. Let's do it. What do you think? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Tired? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three points the biggest buck actually. Like maybe not score wise, but he's cool. It's like big frame. There's I'll probably shoot you like four of the bucks in there. There's some nice bucks. And I'm sure for Nevada standards, from talking to Nevada residents, they're all small. I don't care. They're big to me. They look very big. I'd be stoked with a three by four or uh, like whatever score is i get excited on like a like heavy antlers not so much the score but if it's heavy it gets me excited there's several of them in there that are cool well half the deer went up and over out of sight and then three of them stayed right above this little cliff band uh, including that nice three point so Hopefully they're settling in there. It looks like one of them's bedded, one of them's still feeding. And then I'm not sure about the third. And the trick is now that I was gonna circle around on that backside, but now we know that there's four deer over there. Four or five? Was there seven or eight total? I think there's six or seven. There's definitely seven, but then there was that extra doe. There might be eight. Okay. But anyway, we know that there's a good chunk of them that are over that side, so. That's a big unknown. So I'm going to have to be really careful to try not to spook those. As soon as these guys settle in, I'll probably start making moves and Michael's going to be able to sit here and watch. Make sure everything's looking good. It's exciting though. I'm going to get it going on the stock. This is the first stock of the hunt. So, I'm going to take it real seriously. Try to get one on the ground. That'd be sweet. Marcus just left about 20 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago. And we thought those bed, those bucks were bedded, but I can see one's up feeding right now, which isn't a big deal. I just gotta make sure I keep my eye on them.
else were on. And they just, no one knew I was there. He kept looking back at me. I feel the wind on my neck. He'd look up. Well, that hurts. Climb a long ways up the mountain. <sighs> Take my time. Got to 70 yards and just couldn't seal it. The wind started swirling every time I heard, that one was closer than I thought the big buck was. And he smelled me. And then he just kept staring at me, kept staring at me, kept staring at me. And he knew it was up. The other ones were kind of a little clueless, but eventually they just walked over the edge and I'll see what happened with, Michael probably knows. You have no idea what just happened. I looked down, there's a bunch of flies in Marcus's beef jerky, so I started getting the flies out. And of course, that's when something must have happened. I see him walking down to where the deer are. And, uh, yeah, I just have no idea. Not sure where they went, if they curled back into the timber or just bailed into the drainage, but oh, it hurts. But we'll find another one. Got a few days left, so hopefully find something to chase. Walk of shame. That was stupid. Wow. Wind. Uh, Should have, that was stupid. Should have waited. I knew it was probably gonna swirl, and it did. Should've waited till at least one o'clock. So we don't know what happened. We don't really know. They smell me. The one smell me. You stink. Me. <laughs> I smell really bad. You smell, you smell great. I smell awful. <laughs> um, but I, I got to 70 yards, and then event, I was there for a while, and then it, I was watching the smaller of the three he was feeding and then the big one all of a sudden just bolted out he was closer than i thought and he had smelled me i'm pretty sure is what happened because the other two were kind of clueless and he just kept looking back at me and just kept looking back at me and has kind of had a standoff for like a half hour and eventually they just they never i never saw them run but i assume they did but they just walked over through the trees walked over that white cliff and just as soon as they went out of sight, I walked out, I kind of snuck down through there and I never saw them again. I love archery deer hunting. <laughs> what are you talking about? I love it. It's really easy. Now we get to go climb up a big old steep face. Mm, dirt. Give her the sauce, dude. I'll be behind you, way behind you. What's going on is I'm looking at this weird thing in the trees and trying to decide what it is. It's not a deer. I think it might be a toilet seat. <laughs> 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 That's what's going on. I'm slowly nursing my wounds and regaining excitement because we still are at 10,000 feet in the middle of nowhere in Nevada chasing deer in August and it's sweet. It's pretty fantastic. I'm still a little sad, a little salty that I suck. <laughs> and I couldn't seal the deal this morning. But yeah, hopefully we can turn up that four point. We saw a nice four point last night on this ridge and I don't know where he is betting. This is, to me, this is the most promising mm -hmm. slope, but uh, We'll see. Hopefully you can turn them up. And uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with that information if we do turn them up, if he's out feeding. Um, depending on the situation, we could go after him tonight or probably the smart thing would be to locate him in the morning, wait till the wind is perfect and he's in a killable spot and then go. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we find him or another one.
just saw a buck in my binoculars and went to find it in the spotting scope. Couldn't find it in the spotting scope. And then can't find it in my binos again either. They were like out in the sun. It's driving me crazy. Like I don't know why I can't find oh, them. Oh, let me, just let me find them real quick. Yeah. We, we just need an MP to find them. Out here hallucinating. I think I went completely insane. I cannot find those deer. I couldn't find them either. So. That, I think I hallucinated them. Like I was, I, I was so confident. I'm like a thousand percent sure that there was three deer, and one of them was a nice buck. There's nowhere they could have gone. I'm losing my mind. You win some, you lose most. It's driving me crazy. I just sat there and like meticulously gritted the hill over and over again, and just cannot turn anything up. Find a real deer. Probably. All I wanted was a three point. I kept asking for a three point. We got three three points over here. We don't have enough light to do anything tonight, but I think they'll be there tomorrow morning. So I'm ready to go after a three point at this point. <laughs> I'm still going to be <laughs> like, it's not easy still. Like hopefully they're a little dumber, a little more naive, a little easier to sneak up on, but it's still not easy. So, and depending on where they bed too, hopefully we get close to them tomorrow. It's getting a little chilly. Sun's going down. Gonna go eat some food. Yeah. That's the plan. Little coos deer. Little coos deer spaghetti. Yup. Channel our inner uh, deer to go try to get one tomorrow. Hell yeah. Wind's already whipping. Gonna go sit on our little perch up here. I'm just spitting as I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Got coffee making supplies. It's gonna be a good morning. Hopefully find those three points or something bigger actually. That'd be great too, but. If we can put those guys to bed, it'll give us something to do this afternoon. Wait till the wind's perfect before we go in. Yeah, I'm excited. Should we go? Fun? Fun. Good? Fun. I haven't <laughs> had my coffee yet. Looking at elk and small deer. So, turned up one of the three points. He's the tiny one. He's a two by three. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about it and like, my inner trophy hunter's definitely coming out. I don't really feel like going after that buck. It's like, it's hard because this is a tag that some people like dream about getting not me because I just got lucky and got it so it's like I'm having this conundrum because I know that it's like a cool tag and I should try to you know I, 
I don't know. That's a weird pressure that people put on themselves, I guess. And I'm doing this. I'm doing it too. Like, but I, the other thing is I also have a luxury of having another deer tag in Montana this year. So I know I'll probably get a deer in Montana. We're just not seeing a lot up here. I mean, we can see a ton of country and we're seeing a few does and this small bucks. I saw a small two point and that two by three, but this nothing that's getting me super excited. So we're going to keep glassing for another hour or so and then um, hopefully pick something up. But if we don't, we might be bailing to the low country and give that a shot. Found a slightly bigger buck. If he beds in a killable spot, I'd probably try for him. He's a little four by three. Nothing, nothing like what we were chasing yesterday, but respectable buck. Um, he's with a Dona Fawn though, which makes it more challenging too. We'll see if they bed in a good spot. Probably have to give it a shot. We were watching that buck and those does and they all of a sudden just kind of started running down the hill ran into the thick trees and i kept seeing pieces of deer walking through the trees and then finally saw a couple does bedded but cannot turn up that buck i'm sure he's in there but without knowing exactly where he is it's a really low probability stock so i've just been trying to change angles on this and see if i can see in there but nothing so we're gonna start heading back and uh I'll check a few more times, see if I can get a different angle in there, but we've been moving around a lot and can't, can't turn them up. So, but it's all right. We'll uh, check out the low country if nothing else. And we got to still pack up camp and everything, but. Got a spring with good water a lot of cows but there's some really cool terrain up above so i want to go hike up and glass that it's starting to be evening so hopefully some deer will be moving not skunked <laughs> we see a deer a rat three by four that's a nice buck. The only thing is, I don't think there's any way we can go after him tonight. So we could try to glass him in the morning and try to bet him. It's probably our best bet. <laughs> I don't know. It's really thick up there though. It's not super high probability. Unless he beds in a good spot, but. I mean like that, if you bet him. I think you have a decent shot. That's the tricky part is betting them. Saw some elk. That was cool. And we got two uh, little spike mule deer that are walking right towards us with the wind blowing right to them. That just wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> Although the thought crossed my mind. <laughs> we need some camp meat. Camp meat. We need camp meat. <laughs> No, they deserve some more years. But hopefully we can get on that one tomorrow. It's a cool buck. We've just been popping around to these little knobs and Mostly glass in that same face where that deer is, and I still haven't been able to relocate him. <laughs> we picked, looked across this basin, this basin, a couple big basins in addition, no other deer. There's some elk, but um, yeah, hopefully with the morning light, we'll be able to find some more. There, we saw a decent amount of deer on the way up here. Just a handful of does two spikes and then those two bucks across the canyon but 
It's a cool spot. We're just gonna camp here tonight. We'll be ready to glass in the morning. We only have a half day tomorrow, so we have the morning to to try to kill something and that's it. So it's getting down to the wire. We'll see. Hopefully get a stock in tomorrow and put an arrow through that thing. But we got some of this gnarly looking stuff. That right there, Southeast Alaska bear canned. He says it's gonna be a bunch of sauteed veggies, some canned uh, bear, and some pesto. Whatever you want to call that. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's good. I mean, I'm curious what you think, but I like you, it. You cooked it, so it's good for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, my turn. We'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, dude, brother. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Hopefully we find a deer. We gotta turn that thing up. And then have an impossible stock. <laughs> but, gotta try. Last day. Last morning. We gotta leave in a day to day. The hard part's gonna be, too, once we see that thing, keep, like, just yeah. watching him and not losing him. Yep. I just really don't want to admit defeat. <laughs> really want to find a buck. <sighs> it's frustrating. Maybe there's one over here. <laughs> how you feeling? That's how he feels. I don't want to be done. I don't want to give up. We're just out of time. I really want to find a buck. It's frustrating. A lot of lessons learned on this hunt. Really take care of the opportunity when you get it. Like really give it a lot of, a lot of effort. We had one good opportunity in seven days. That's it. I just think I'm not used to low density, just high stakes hunts, I guess, like this. I was thinking like, when I elk hunt, I'm very aggressive and I know like, well, if I spook it, I'll just go find another elk. It's not the case here. It's like, you find the buck, like better, better be real serious about it. And I, I was, I, but I, I should have waited for the wind to be right on that stock. But. <sighs> No, we're calling it, unfortunately. Could not relocate that buck. It's tough, it's tough. But uh, it's a pretty awesome experience. Learned a lot. Got to see some really cool country. It's incredibly beautiful here. We got to experience all the smoke. We got to experience really cold weather in August. We got snowed on briefly. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. We saw some really nice bucks. We saw a lot of elk. Um, just, yeah, awesome sunsets, sunrises. That moon this morning was pretty epic. It was just a, it was a cool experience. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is, uh, hopefully this is still worth your time. I know it's, uh, it's pretty slow to watch us not stock deer, but. I'm rambling. Goodbye now. Have a great time. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>